I hope you guys are doing well. Love them knives here. And uh, I got a couple of Vosteed knives recently. Just came in. And they are different. But they are variants of two models that are already out. And wasn't that long ago I was telling you about the Acorn. Okay, the Vosteed Acorn. It's 14C28N. It's my car to handle. It's, you know, small. It's under three inch blade or right at three inch blade. Okay, so this is cool. And it's under, I believe, seven, under seven inches. Let me see. Yeah, under seven inches, but right at three inch blade. Maybe technically 2.9 inch which could be important for some jurisdictions. Left and right hand carry, deep carry, okay? But now they have a new one that has come out and it's the Acorn Mini, okay, 14C28N. This one looks like it's G10, but I can't swear to that. It, You know, my card looks so much like it when it's, uh, when it's all one color, but this looks G10 to me. Now, 14C28N, and this does not have left-hand carry. Small, like two and a half inch blade. So they have gone from a small knife to a mini. And yeah, two and a half inch blade, six inches overall length. All right, but it's still liner lock, that kind of thing. Okay, bank, there it goes. Front flipper or finger flickable, that kind of thing. Front choil, this one, same thing. You know, front flipper, finger flickable, all that. Now, N kilo, what's going on with that? Well, the N kilo was L Max, and this is one that I got off the Kickstarter program. So it's L Max. All right, and there it is. It says L Max on it. Aluminum handle. I wanted the frag. I wanted the gray. And I did a video on this with the V anchor lock uh, or vanker lock, however you want to. I mean, the way he spells it is all one word V and then the word anchor, but they're all run together. Vanker. So the V anchor lock or vanker lock, and it's a front flipper, it's a top flipper, it's flickable. There's three different ways to open this. It's very fidget friendly. It's 3.2 inch blade, and it's under eight inches overall. And let's take a look real quick, because they're both the same size. So basically 3.2 inch blade at like 83 millimeters, and overall 7.65 inch, or seven and five eighths, and then you know, 19 and a half uh, centimeters. And they're both the exact same size, okay? Now, the thing is about this, everything's the same, except two things. Number one, this is got 154 CM, not LMAX. Now, this is, is a lower price. So this was, I guess, a response that he felt that was out there for wanting a lower price than the, than the uh, LMAX version. So here it is, the 154 CM. And I believe another thing that was being asked, which is give us a left-hand option on this because there wasn't one on the first and now there is, okay? So you have left-hand carry available. That's interesting as well. Of course, it's like deep carry, the same as before, okay? But, so you've got that. Now, these are both about the exact same uh, weight, okay? 139 uh, grams. And so, well, let's throw it on here 139 grams which I believe is like seven or 4.1 yeah 139 grams uh let roll it around two ounces 4.9 so it's under five ounces 
there she be. This is green. I mean, you can get them in, I think there's a lot of different varieties. Hold on, let me let me take a look at this. Okay, here here's the different variations. You can get frag, you can get non-frag, you can get silver, you can get, you know, with silver with a black blade, you can get, you know, orange without a black blade, orange with a black blade, you know, all these different things. So there's that, and his, it's 129. 3.18 inch blade is what he's saying, okay. And uh, any more in, 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 in information on it? The two-in-one system. Yeah, that lock is, whew, that is pretty crazy. So you could pause and read this. Um, I'm going to put my link for my disassembly of, of the uh, Ankylo that I did. And the, and the video I did on the Ankylo in LMAX was, it was a black model, okay? This one I got off his Kickstarter. So, but the black model I had in hand at the time, and so that's the one I did the disassembly on. So check that out because it is an interesting lock system. It's really strong. It is a strong lock system. And see these little suckers? Oh yeah, you can open them from the back and let everything hang out. Man, that is something. But this is a solid uh, lock system. Whew. It is there. It's all there. And so I think you'll appreciate it for that. For the fact that it is got a lot of, I mean, this is a lot of traction. A lot of traction on it. And it's not a thin little, it's like 0.52 or 0.54, something like that as far as. It's 14.1 millimeters, 0.55. And a lot of knives may be just under 12, like 11 point something. I've even seen them down to 10 something millimeters overall thickness. Well, this thing's 14. So this has got, yeah, and 3.4 millimeter um, thickness, 3.3, okay, 3.3 millimeter blade thickness. So it's got guts in the blade. And it's got some real grip and heft here, but it's still under five ounces. And it's definitely very flickable. Top flip, front flip, and then flickable as well. So you can do a lot of different things. And now it is left hand capable and it costs less money to get one. So, and you know what? I'm fine with 154 CM. And... Gosh, a lot of variants available. I mean, what color do you want the handle? I mean, do you want stone wash? Do you want whatever? Or you want a black blade, et cetera, et cetera. So you've got all that. Now, let me see which box am I on. This is this one. So, okay, so this is the new one. And is this the open end or the closed end? Uh, I guess this is the open end here. So here's the box it came in, by the way. So kind of back to that tin box, isn't that interesting? Were these, yeah, they are magnetic. Oh baby, okay, there you go. Now, so it came in this tin box. Remember the tin box was like, it used to be like, it all kind of fit down in here and then the top was the thing that fit over. But this time you got depth in the box. So they've kind of inverted the box and which makes it more practical. Here's where the knife goes in here. And then, of course, this, you can always take off and put on your patch wall or whatever because that's just Velcroed on. And then you have the microfiber cloth. You've got, and this is the uh, open the joy and swish. He's doing that. Okay, okay, so hold on. So then this is another one for the patch wall. Okay, swish, open the joy. However you want to go about it, open the joy, swish, swish, open the joy, whatever. And then this, which gives you a, a blow up of, uh, of what the V anchor lock looks like. It's interesting because these bearings that are on the outside there, this whole thing, 
how that goes. That is, it's fascinating. It's not exactly, you know, easy open, easy close as far as disassembly. If you wanted to go the full money on the disassembly of it, you don't have to, but you could if you wanted to. And this, but this gives you, you know, a blow up uh, view of what it, what it looks like. So that's fascinating. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. I'd forgotten about that. What's on the back of the card? Digital uh, and secure and multiple deployment. And yeah, he's getting he's getting the program right. I think a lot of people really do want something that's got a real stable lock, but also real fidget friendly. And so that is cool. And these metal boxes, you might want to use it for even something else. If you don't use it, to keep your knife in. Um, but yeah, these are super fidget friendly. They really are. And I don't know. Do you like the blade? It's kind of a reverse tanto type thing. Uh, or sheep's foot. Whatever you want to call it. But here it is. Bang. Yeah. Good looking. And then, of course, you've got the regular one. So if you want an LMAX one, or if you're left-handed... You want this one, but you want the LMAX blade, buy both of them, swap the blade. You could do whatever, technically, I guess. And then, then you've got, if you like small knives, then kick on back to the Acorn Mini. And now you got this. Now, this is not giving you a left-hand carry. But it's easy to fidget with. And it's a little front flipper. Easy to finger flick. Definitely, uh, well, let's put it on the, on the scale. And there you go. What are we? 2.75 ounces. 77.6 grams. Okay. So definitely super light. And can you put your finger up here? Yeah. So can you get all your fingers on here? Yeah, you still can. You still can. But, I mean, this is contoured handles here. And so, yeah, it, it you can get a good grip on it. At 12 millimeters, it's still kind of a full-size knife type thickness grip at 0.47. And then here, 0.11. So you got, what, 2.8 millimeter blade stock on it. Bingo. Yeah, this would definitely be super lightweight, easy to carry. So now we've got all this craziness here, right? Because we've got a different and kilo that's a lower priced left hand capable and still got a full stainless steel, good user steel, 154 CM. This 14C28N, same, but a much smaller knife with the mini. So we got the mini there. So there's your choices. Check it out. I'll give you the link to Vostied Knives. And then, of course, White Mountain Knives sells Vostied as well. So if you catch them there, LTK is your discount code for 10% off. And you can get 10% off there. So, you know, you've got choices. Take care, my friends. Vostied. Got the little and the prime days. Prime days. And if I didn't put that down below... <laughs> before I clicked out. And I will put it down um, because there's a sale uh, with Vosteed for Prime Day on Amazon. And and there's some markdowns on certain models, okay? Like 20% here or this or that on certain models. So I'll put that information down below, but check it out. And I, I got links and information on which models are marked down, how much, etc., etc. So check that out as well. And you guys, stay sharp.